Hello and welcome. We are decoding legalese with KPRC2 Investigates. These anatomy of a trial videos we're putting together are specifically designed to help you understand the complicated legal jargon you sometimes hear in a court case. After you watch these videos, you'll have a better understanding of those phrases. Brian Weiss is here, he knows a lot about the law. You should, you're an attorney. We're gonna talk about the different phases today of a trial. How's it start, where does it go, how's it end? The first phase is what we lovingly in East Texas call voir dire. It's actually in some jurisdictions pronounced, wait for it, voir dire. Okay. French to speak the truth. And that's because we want potential jurors to speak the truth about their backstory, their own individual narrative, their bias, their prejudice, what would keep them from being a fair and impartial juror or from being unable to follow the law that the court gives to them. The jury is now seated. The jury is sworn. The first stage of the process itself is opening statements. What you expect the evidence will reasonably show. Opening statements are important because jury selection experts have told us that many, many, many jurors make up their mind about a defendant's guilt or innocence after opening statements. The trial itself, the prosecution, as we all know, has the burden of proof. They get to go first, they get to go last. They call their witnesses, the defense gets to confront and cross-examine them. At the end of the prosecution's case in chief, the defense gets to go. At the end of the evidence, there'll be what we call the charge conference, which has nothing to do with credit card bills. It is a seven, eight, nine, ten piece of paper, page piece of paper, where the judge gives the jury all of the law they will need. It talks about what the defendant's charged with, possible defenses, the burden of proof, and their options on the last page, which is we find the defendant guilty, we find the defendant guilty of a lesser offense, we find the defendant not guilty. That's the guilt innocence stage. If the defendant is found not guilty, everybody catches the elevator and they go home. If the defendant is found guilty, if on bond he may be remanded to custody, the punishment stage then continues. And this is what's great about Texas. We're one of, I think, two or three states that permit juries and not judges to do sentencing and non-death penalty cases. Both sides can put on whatever evidence the judge thinks is relevant towards sentencing. And that quite literally includes not just the prior criminal record, but whether you got office detention in the fifth grade. And then the jury comes back with a verdict on punishment. If the judge has been the sentencing figure, there may not be a formal hearing. There may be what we call a PSI, a pre-sentence investigation. And then that judge ultimately, after reading the PSI, will assess punishment. That, in a nutshell, is a trial in Texas. So is there a legal term you don't quite understand? No problem, we're on it. Just leave that word or phrase below in the comments section. And thanks for watching.